Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Raj from Radical Dakar, your process automation strategist. Today we will show you all new range of product called CO2 transmitter, which is offered by Sensor. Now, first let us understand that what is CO2 transmitter and what are the uses of CO2 transmitter. So viewers, in the simple words, CO2 transmitters are devices used to measure the concentration of carbon dioxide in the air. They are commonly used in HVAC system, greenhouse, industrial environments, and laboratories to monitor air quality and to ensure optimal condition for both humans and processes. And hence, these transmitters are commonly referred as IAQ sensor, which means Inner Air Quality Sensor. Let's see advantages of using CO2 transmitters. First, by monitoring CO2 levels, HVAC system can adjust ventilation rates to optimize energy consumption. Second, one can ensure air quality by maintaining CO2 levels within safe limits. Third, in industrial application, it helps maintain the right CO2 levels for specific processes like fermentation. Today, we have with us one of the well-known, reliable and accurate CO2 transmitter eSense display version which is offered by Sensor. First of all, we will see the box contained an overview of eSense CO2 transmitter. Before unboxing, kindly note that the eSense series has various models available and all the models can be seen on the screen right now. Today we have eSense display version. Now let's jump over the unboxing. As you can see on the screen right now, it comes in the very compact packaging. The first thing you can see in the box is the sensor itself. The second thing that can be seen is the user manual. As you can see, the sensor has very minimal design. For connections or to give the power supply, you need to open the sensor lead cover. After opening, you can do the wiring stuff as mentioned in the catalog. After doing all the connections, you can mount it on wall as per your requirement and check the readings. Now, let's see the specifications that are offered in the CO2 transmitter. So viewers, all standard specifications that are offered in eSense CO2 transmitter can be seen on the screen right now. If we see some of the standard specifications, then we can see that it is offered with non-dispressive infrared CO2 sensor. Those who don't know this sensor type, you can consider that this sensor type is the most commonly used sensor type in industries for accurate measurement of CO2 gas. Measuring range that is offered in this particular transmitter is 0 to 2000 ppm. Note that it is also available in different ranges up to 10,000 ppm. This CO2 transmitter has a dual output setup and both output types are as follows. First output is with the help of this output, you can transmit the data in voltage from ranging 0 to 10 volts for 0 to 2000 ppm respectively. And therefore, output 2 output has the option of both 0 to 10 volts and 4 to 20 milliamperes output. You can select to transmit the data in either of the options by adjusting the jumper which is available in the sensor circuit, whose location can be seen on the screen right now. The accuracy that is offered in this transmitter is plus or minus 3 percentage of full span. The dimension for some models can be seen on the screen right now. So from all the images, we can conclude that it comes in different housing as an option. Some housing options are wall mount, industrial wall mount, and all round housing type. Differences in all housing types can be seen on the screen right now. If we see the life expectancy, then it comes with the lives of more than 15 years at operating temperature of 0 to 50 degrees Celsius and 0 to 95 percentage of RH range. It can work on 24 volt AC DC power supply, which is common for all other transmitter types also. So this was all about the specification which are offered in ESL CO2 transmitter. Some extra features like connection of temperature sensor is also available in some models. This CO2 transmitter comes with self-diagnostic characteristic. The system contains complete self-diagnostic procedure. A full system test is executed automatically every time the power is turned on. In addition, constantly during operation, the sensor probes are checked against failure by checking the varied dynamic measurement ranges. All EPROM updates initiated by the sensor itself. 
as well as by external corrections are checked by subsequent memory read back and data comparisons. This different system checks written error bytes to the system RAM. If this byte is not zero, the LED status will be put into low level state. LED indicator status description can be seen on the screen right now. Next, if we talk about the maintenance part, the ESS CO2 transmitter is basically maintenance free in normal environments, thanks to the built-in self-correcting ABC algorithm. Those who don't know the ABC algorithm or automatic baseline correction is the method used to make sure CO2 measurements are accurate over time. CO2 sensors sometimes drift, meaning the readings can slowly become less accurate due to changes in the environment. The ABC algorithm fixes this by regularly checking and adjusting the sensor's baseline or the starting point for the measurement. It does this by using the data from times when CO2 levels are known to be low, like during periods of fresh air, to recalibrate the sensor. The algorithm then adjusts the sensor's reading to remove any error caused by drift, making sure the measurements are correct. It continuously updates these adjustments in real time. So even if the environment changes, the sensor stays accurate. This process helps eSense CO2 transmitters to provide reliable CO2 measurements, which is important in places where accurate air quality monitoring is needed. So this was all about CO2 transmitter eSense, which is offered by Sensor. To buy this product online, you can visit our website www.radicaltechmart.com or you can click on the link given in the description box below. Hope you all like this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. See you all in my next video.